how to bulk create blog posts and optimize existing content using scale nuts. Let's get to it. What's up everybody. I hope you're having a great day. My name is David. And in this video, I want to show you what scale nut is like. Now it's a primary competitor to surfer SEO, which in my opinion is one of the best on-page SEO optimization tools around. Scalenut is part AI writer, part on-page SEO optimization tool, kind of rolled into one. And in this video, I want to show you what it's like. I'm going to show you how to optimize existing content, how to bulk create blog posts, as well as just how to use this tool overall and if it's any good. So if you're ready to get started, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. So this is what Scalenut looks like when you log in and create an account. This is your Scalenut dashboard. Now you have access to three specific tools, the article writer, the content optimizer, and the keyword planner. Now the unique selling point of Scalenut, in my opinion, is their article writer, which allows you to create bulk content really quickly and really easily. And it's good for kind of surface level content. It's not ideal for content that requires a lot of trust and authority and experience. So anyways, let's go ahead and click on create and I'll show you what the process is like. So right here is where you can enter in the keyword that you want to rank for. And then right here you have ranking pages will be considered for content guidelines. So you can tell it to select the top 10, top 20 or top 30. So top 20 and top 30, I like that more because it covers more pieces of content. But again, it's up to you. So let me go ahead and type in uh, best books for teenagers. We'll type that in best books for teenagers. And let's go ahead and click on starts. Now the article will begin being processed. So you see up top here, the breadcrumbs, the context, then the title, then the outline, then the writing points, and then the first draft. And then from there, it moves everything over to the editor. All right. So your SEO report is ready. Click on create title to proceed. Now over here with the article configuration, you can set the context so you can write a small description of what your blog post is about to help the AI craft a more accurate blog post. And down here, you can select your tone of voice. So we click on add new. You have a wide range of options for this, which I really like. So you can let Scalena identify your tone. So tone and name, and you can just type whatever you want in, or you can paste in a URL or you can enter it in manually totally up to you. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on create title. Now we have the H1 title tag, the title for our blog post right here. So it's best books for teens, must reads in the specific year, which is pretty good. We also have a bunch of AI generated titles over here that we can use as well as the top ranked titles over here that we can get inspiration from. So either you can type things in manually or you can just click on one of the AI generated uh, titles over here. So best books for teenagers, popular choices. I'll click on that looks good. And you also get the opportunity to rephrase that. So if you wanted to change uh, this specific title to something else, you can go ahead and do that. Anyways, I'm going to keep this one right here. Best books for teenagers, popular choices. Let's go ahead and click on create outline. Now it says we're extracting insights from top competitors to craft an SEO optimized outline for you. This may take 30 seconds. We appreciate your patience. Okay, so we just finished and we have our title at the very top here. And then we have H2 and H3 title tags. So broke it up into uh, classics, fantasy, dystopian worlds, uh, contemporary realism. Uh, so it's pretty good. It's pretty meaty. So the way this works is that one, you can click over here and you can move the entire section around like this. So that's quite nice. Uh, and also you can delete things over here. Now, one little thing you need to be aware of, if you click on the trash can for the H2 title tag, it deletes all of these items. So if you only want to delete this title, then you have to go here, click on H3, then you can just delete this alone. So switch that back to H2. And that's really how it works. So you can kind of just move things around, but you have a nice, useful outline right here. Now, if you navigate to the bottom right there, you can write your own H2 title into the uh, piece of content, into this outline yourself, or you can click on AI suggestions and we'll give you relevant suggestions you can consider adding in so popular books for teenagers to read we can just scroll through this and pick the ones that you like the most and also down here you have questions so if you want to have an faq at the very bottom of the blog post which oftentimes is quite useful you can go ahead and do that so if there any classic books that are so relevant to today's teenagers we can add that in and that looks good and now the next part is to generate writing points so now it goes a step deeper where we have our outline, but now we have bullet points and these bullet points are going to become paragraphs. 
And so what you want to do at this point in time is just go through this and make sure that these relevant writing points make sense. If they don't delete them and you can add in suggestions as you like by clicking on the suggestion icon over there as suggestions and facts and then it'll generate facts that you can add in. And overall, it's very useful. So again, this is why I said Skillnut is quite good for creating bulk content quickly and easily. Anyways, at this point in time, you just want to make sure everything makes sense. It's relevant and good. If it is, then you can go over here and click on generate content. Okay, so now we have a 3,646 word blog post. So right down here, we have the SEO score. So 80, we got a 78 word count, 2,800 to 3,200. So it says we have a little bit too many words. So we want to reduce things. And then the terms, the, su the suggested keyword terms are zero and there's plus 49. So anyways, at this point in time, you want to just look at everything, make sure it looks good. If there's anything you want to move around, you can do that by clicking on the item right here, the little dots and move elements around. And in general, everything should be good to go at this point. And now you want to export everything to the editor. And finally, this is the editor. So anyone who's used Surfer SEO, this does look a little bit similar, particularly the SEO score at the top here. Uh, right down here, you have your section score about things to add and adjust. So like, for example, H2, H6 headings, two issues found. What are the issues? And so we need to add in the following terms should be in the H2 to H6 headings right here. So we can click on uh, these different items and add in. But again, use your own judgment. So it says, yeah, like, why, what, why would I add yeah <laughs> to like an H2, H3 data? Like that doesn't make any sense. Or we click on content depth. And then it gives us a little check mark or X's that of things we need to fix. So a like current total word is 3,600 and it should be within this range. So that means like, okay, delete some words if you want. Again, you got to just make your, use your brain, use, <laughs> use your brain and make decisions yourself. Now, if we click over here for the brief general guidelines, word count headings gives us the broad overview about what this post needs to contain and gives us the outline over here. If we click on research, we have key terms, competition, questions, stats, and details to add in. Let me click on back to editor. Then we click on AI templates over here. And so product descriptions. And then this just helps us create content to add into the blog post. So if I click over here for like sentence rewrite and I can take like this element right there and then like copy and paste that in, then click on generate. That's how you can kind of use this section over here for these AI templates. If that makes any sense. So anyways, let me click over here for research, click on details. So now we have access to page statistics, metric trends, and our competitors. And it breaks everything up in a really useful way. So words, SEO score, H1, H2, H3 title tags, the images, and so forth. Then we have the secondary menu at the top there. So if we click on outlines, it gives us the outline for our competitors blog post. Now, again, you can just manually take a look at what's ranking, kind of figure out yourself, or you can just use uh, scale, not use this feature. It's quite helpful questions statistics, citations, key terms. So it goes into a lot of detail over here. And next, when you're ready, when everything's done, then you just copy and paste this within into your WordPress dashboard or whatever publishing platform you're using to create blog posts. Next up is the content optimizer. So this really helps you optimize your on-page SEO for your blog post so they rank better. So maybe you have a blog post that's sitting on page seven, eight, six, whatever. You can use the content optimizer to help improve the on-page SEOs to bump that up to page three, page two, and maybe even page one, given enough backlinks and sites authority. All right, so let's go ahead and optimize. So optimize your content for search engine success with our SEO score. So right here, you enter in the content URL you would like to optimize. So we'll take this, what is a blog? This is just a informational blog post I have on my website. We'll pop that in there. And then the keyword, We'll type in what is a blog question mark. There we go. And let's go ahead and click on starts. So it takes about a minute for scale nut to process the blog post and it will give you a broad SEO score. And now you can open the editor to begin optimizing the blog post. Just like what you saw previously with the article writer, it's the same exact thing. But instead of having the article writer create the article, you can already optimize a piece of content that exists already on your website. And then again, you just go through the section scores and make changes as required. So let's take a look at key terms. So improve SEO score by fixing key terms. So sometimes it'll pop up with this, which is very helpful. Where you can click on fix it. So I can click on fix it. 
it'll navigate me to the dedicated section that it wants to fix. So current key term usage is 21, suggested is 63, used at least 42 more times. And so web log. So I should be mentioning the word web log a lot more. So I can click over here to click on accept, search engine optimization, click on that, privacy policy, click on that, blog content and so forth. So it's similar to kind of Grammarly where you can go through and just click on everything. So while I do prefer Surfer SEO overall, about how it works with giving multiple phrases. I do like that the this scale that has this keyword term assistant, where I can just click a button and read the content and be like, yep, that makes sense. And go just go through this and click accept, 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 and optimize the score that way without me having to think too much. But really that's just how it works over here with the section score to navigate through everything. And so sometimes you don't have that, like the little fix it button over here. So you have to do things manually. So Again, like with the word count, it says word count is 2000, suggested is 2700 to 3000. So that means I need to write more. So either you write more yourself manually, or you can use one of the AI templates over here to create uh, additional paragraphs and so forth. But anyways, it gives you a broad level overview with optimize research and AI templates about how to better improve this piece of content, as well as what score you really should be aiming for. So top score is 71. So I want to get this to at least 71, 72 to really optimize this blog post as best as possible. And finally, we have the keyword planner, which allows us to do keyword research using scale nuts. So let's go ahead and click on plan. And then we enter in the keyword we want to use to find other related keywords. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'll type in how to teach English abroad, how to teach English abroad. Let's click on start. Now it should take about 30 seconds or so to process. Now you can open the report to see what it comes up. There you up go. With. So now we have a wide variety of keyword clusters that we can jump into in order to do keyword research as well as generate articles with. So we have our original keyword right here, how to teach English abroad, as well as related keywords. So how to teach abroad, how to teach English in another country, how to become an English teacher, how to get a TEFL. You click on the little arrow icon, it expands everything into relevance, cost per click, and the search volume. You can also generate an SEO article by clicking this button, and any articles that you create are going to be listed over here. And you can switch everything to a list view, so you have a nice, again, long list view and I'll switch it back to the cluster view. And of course you can export everything by clicking the export button. Let's go ahead and create an SEO article now. So I'll use this keyword cluster right here, how to get a TEFL. So let's click on create SEO article. Now the keyword is how to get a TEFL, a TEFL certificate. So you have to use common sense and go through the keyword phrases that are related to this one. Do they make sense? So how to be a TEFL teacher? Does that make sense? Well, no, I want to know how to get a TEFL certificate, not how to teach the program to give other people the certificate. So the rest of these look good. So let's go ahead and click on create SEO article. Now scaling up will take a minute or so to create a new article. Okay, so it just finished. So let's click over here for SEO articles in progress. There we go. So now we can open the SEO article and it takes me right back to the beginning part of the editor where we're at step one, the context. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on Scale Nut. So overall, my thoughts on this tool. Now, I do like the bulk process for creating blog posts. I do find it very nice and intuitive, but I do find that it's ideal if you're creating surface level content. If you're creating content that requires a level of trust, authority, and expertise, ScaleNut, in my opinion, is just not cutting it. You're going to create this rough draft and you're going to really have to like jump in and edit it a lot yourself. And so that kind of defeats the purpose a little bit of an AI writing tool. So I do find that it's helpful for creating a general outline of what you should include because it does look at like what's currently ranking. So that is quite helpful. And I think it's helpful for generating a paragraph here and there. But if you're actually creating content that's like competitive, and that's going after keywords that are valuable, you're gonna really wanna rely on more of a human editing process, a human writer, and so forth. Now with regards to optimizing your content with their AI tool, I just don't like it. I find it quite confusing and counterintuitive. I'm always like, well, what do I do? How do I make the thing go up? <laughs> like, how do I make the number go up? Whereas with Surfer SEO, I really like it. It's like quite clear and specific about adding in this specific phrase and this specific phrase and that specific phrase. I find that super duper helpful because Surfer SEO is quite good 
at telling you what you should be including within your blog post. Like I have a blog post I wrote on the best vlogging cameras because I've used multiple vlogging cameras for creating content and I have this long form piece of content and nowhere did I mention battery life or frame rates. And it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> that'd probably be a good thing to include in a blog post about cameras, the frame rates as well as the battery life. So in short, I do like scale nut if you're creating bulk content on surface level keywords that don't really require a lot of trust and authority. And I'm not crazy about their on-page optimization tools. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on scale nuts. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got value out of it. If you did, consider subscribing and hit that like button. My name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.